out the gym, say I got talent. I had my first fight, and I won it. I was in top of the world. Never looked back since. Rating number three in the country. I'm so far so good, and I'm still learning. And people obviously see the best of me. Yeah. Color trunks weighing in at 11 stone, one pound, 12 ounces. Eight fight record, seven wins, two inside the scheduled distance, and just one defeat from Stoke where he's known as the Eagle. Eric. Yes. How are you, sir? I'm doing wonderful, I'm doing great. How are you doing yourself? I'm good, I'm always good. You know how we are on uh, Nothing Long Global Sporting Colour. Always good, mate. You're in preparation for your fight on December 14th at the XL in that's London. Right. Um, it's against Dale Evans, is that right? Dale Evans, Tell that's me right. what you know about him and how your preparation is going. Um, he's, um, he's, a, he's a strong fighter, he likes to come forward. Um, he's a right fighter. Obviously, he reached the final or prize fight. So he's a decent fighter. Um, my preparation has been great. You know, we left no stone unturned. We train hard for this fight. Obviously, I'm the best coach in the business, Brian Lawrence. So we've been working technique and just, you know, speed kills, but technique over kills. So we've been just focusing on the technique. Speed is there. And yeah, preparation has been going great. You mentioned that Dell uh, fought in the prize fighter. Have you seen those fights? Yes, I've seen the fights. What did you take from them? I mean, what, what was it that maybe stood out for you in particular? Um, to be honest, because um, it's a prize fight, it's three rounds. It's slightly different than a normal fight, a six-rounder, an eight-rounder. Um, what I've got out of it is, um, obviously, he's strong, like comes forward. Um, he likes to go with the body with the left hook. Um, if, yeah, he's got a good left hook. That's what I've seen. But... We've got to answer for everything he's going to bring on the table. This fight's a lot, uh, welterweight, is that right? Correct. You're dropping away. Um, tell me a little bit about the decision behind that and how you're feeling at, at 147 pounds. Yes, we're going down to welterweight. Um, the ego is flying down to welterweight. I'm going to be strong at water because um, I, when I come in the gym, you love walk, walk around 11. The heaviest I go is 11.5 and lap me the way I come to 11 stone. So, and you got other fighters coming down from heavier, like me, like me, the ones that come down from some of them 12 stones, you know. So, I feel stronger. I could go down to 10, you know, 10, 10, 7. Obviously, for this fight, it's going to be a 10, 10. So, we make the way easily. I mean, I walk in the gym right now, I'm on the way, I'm on the fighting way. We could fight, we could fight tonight if it be. So, I'm, I'm strong in the way. Um, we decided to come down. Obviously, most of, obviously my opponents, their structure, they're big. You know what I'm saying? They they got both bigger body structure. Mm -hmm. They like middleweights. So in that sense, obviously they got high advantage and you know rich advantage. But you know what? We decided because I'm comfortable, I'm strong, I can make the weight, and I will have sp speed will be there, and of course, yeah, power will be there. say yeah they're dangerous fighters I mean true anyone can punch is dangerous yeah, <laughs> and um, you know it's, it's a competitive di division and um, yeah and there's good fights going to be in the division good fights a couple division. of good domestic fights as well I mean in an ideal world if you come through you know the fight on December the 14th successfully who would you like to take on in 2014 I know fighters don't like to look ahead but who would you like to fight you know what, whoever's on my way, I'm going to say I'm going up, I'm going up for the titles. You know what I'm saying? Whoever got the titles, when I'm, I'm, when I'm ready to take the titles, whoever it's going to be, is going to get beat. Tell me about how you got into boxing, Eric. I mean, wow. I've, I've spoken to 
a former mentor of yours who's, who was in the gym earlier today. Yeah. He said he introduced you to the sport because you showed a lot of talent early in your life. But how did you get into it? Wow. It's a story um, how I got into to boxing. I used to be a bad boy. You know, look at me the wrong way. We looking at, you know, like what, what fight kicks out. So I used to fight the street, I used to steal motorbikes, pedal bikes. And actually, I, I, I lived in Tottenham at that time. I was living in Tottenham. Actually, you know what? It's in the foster home. I was in a foster home because I was so bad. You know, I, I ended up moving to a foster home. And when I was in the foster home, a guy called Sylvester, he did boxing when he was older, when he was younger. So he, he was taking the guys on the pads, and I was watching. And one, you know, one evening, I said, "Yeah, I want to join." You know, so I, I joined in, start hitting the pads. I just had power. I just I didn't have no technique, and I used to enjoy it. So we used to do it every Saturday. And from from Tottenham it was five minutes walk to okay. Tottenham boxing, yeah. having a boxing gym. So one time we went there, and um, we met the coach. His name was Chris Hall, and. You know, we are trained, I trained and I enjoyed it. And he said, you got a talent, you got ability. At that time, I thought he just, he, he just said a good word. You know, got a talent. I didn't take him serious. I was around mid 40. Um, I remember going to church and that time they were teaching about using your talent, using your ability. And it came like a lie. I said, wait, the guy at the gym said I got a talent. So I went back to the gym, start training, training. And um, I was sparring people who wanted more fights. We were fights. I didn't. I didn't fall, but I was actually beating them up. And um, so I start training, and the coach say, "If you carry on, if you carry on training hard, you're gonna be a fast fight." I said, "Yeah." I was excited. I remember training. It was for probably a year. I trained for one year, and um, I, I had my first fight, and I won it. I was on top of the world. Never looked back since. You've had 16 fights, lost two. How would you assess your career today? Uh, my career, so far, so good. You know, um, 16 fights, two, two experience, mm -hmm. you know. Um, <laughs> is that how you describe it? Uh, uh, it's a learning birth, okay. I'm saying. Cool. Two experience, and um, so far, so good. I mean, 16 fights, I've been lap me the way, English champ. You know, I've, um, I've obviously my last five box for the yeah, yeah, British yeah. title, rated number three in the country. Um, so far, so good, and I'm still learning. And people haven't seen the best of me yet. You went the you went the distance with Leon Smith. That's great. In your opinion, why why didn't you get the decision? Um, to be honest, he, you know, he's a good fighter. He finished strong. Um, I started quick. He ended up finished strong. Um, remember, was fighting as at his own backyard, mm -hmm. but still, to be honest, he, he you know he finished strong. And as I say, as a what the reason why I'm moving down, also moving down to Walter because I'm I'm a small lap middle. And when the rounds goes on, the way different makes a difference in the ring. You know, when you get hit, you know, what I'm saying when you go, you know, ten rounds and then you got the lap. You feel the weight different because they got big, bigger structure, you know, body structure, and you feel the punches. So I mean, I give me the, you know, what I'm saying he done what he had to do to win the fight, um, and it just that was his time. My, you know, what I'm saying um, I see it as a setback, and a setback is a, is a, that was a setback, and it's a setup for a comeback, and I'm coming back stronger. Tell me a little bit about. Um your training today, is there anything that you was working on specifically or was it just another day in the office? And has there been anything that, you know, you've been looking at and sharpening up and refining the gym? Yeah, we always, obviously when we're in the gym, we always work on technique, um, speed, timing. You know, as I say, Brian is the best in the business and he, when, when you work on your speed, you work on your technique as well. So it's not just one particular thing you, we're working on. You know, we are, we're, we're preparing for unexpected, 
whatever the opponent's gonna bring, we'll be able to deal with it. You've come a long, long way to reach this point, Eric. And I mean, you were born in Kenya. Um, I think you came over when you were 10, 11 years of age. I mean, how did you manage that whole, you know, leaving one country, country of your birth, to come to the UK a couple of years after that, you start, you know, start boxing? Tell me about that journey. Yeah, I was, um, of course, I'm Kenyan born. I um, came to UK when I was 11 years of age. And obviously, um, we, yeah, my, my mom, obviously, my, my, my parents were here already. I was, I was staying with my grandmother in Kenya. Obviously, I got relatives, uncles, and cousins. And obviously, when my grandma, my grandmother passed away, I came to stay with my mom UK. And um, yeah, it was, it was a culture shock coming from Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya, and then. Come in UK, the capital. Boom, culture shock. <laughs> I got caught up in the wrong crowds. You know, I want to be like my, you know, I'm saying my friend was smoking cigarette. You know, be rude to their parents. I try, never walk with mine. <laughs> you know, and and that's what got in. You know, I got I got into the wrong crowd. Do you miss it? Do you miss Kenya? You know, Kenya. Yes, I mean. Is, is home, you know what I'm saying? I, I miss Kenya, you know, I've got family there. Do you get to go back on holiday? Have you been back? I do, I have been back. I've been back to Kenya, and um, yeah, we'll be back again sometime next year. I, I guess you'd like to go back there as a boxing champion one day. I mean, how much would that mean to you to go back and you know show some of the people you grew up with what can be achieved if you know when you're forced to leave your homeland and you know explore something different? Yeah, it would be great. Obviously, that's Part of the part of the plan of the future will be we'll, we'll fight there, we'll, we'll have a big fight there, and you know encourage young people um, to give opportunity like I myself were given, you know, and I will I will I will invest you know invest in Kenya and you know build gyms, Eric the Eagle Gym, boxing gym. Is that is that an ambition of yours? Yeah. Oh, of course. You know, what I'm saying that's gonna be and that's. That's will be soon, you know, build the ego gym and help young people and encourage and teach them. You know, boxing teach different skills, you know, hard work, dedication, discipline. These are qualities that you must have to be successful in, in, in any walk of life. So Dave Evans, is, is, is he going to add another? I think he's been defeated once. Is he going to be defeated again on the 14th? That's, his, that's what it's going to be because I'm, I come to win. I'm a champion and what I do best is winning. What are you going to do for Christmas if you do win? <laughs> when I win. <laughs> when I win. Um, Christmas, obviously, just, you know, chilling now. Going to be relaxing. I mean, you know, just family time. And, yeah, just chilling now. Thanks for your time, Eric. Yeah, appreciate it. Our pleasure. Bro. Thank you. Hard work, dedication. Hard work. Hard work. And that's what we stick to.